of today. Hey, we had like uh, three days that we hadn't seen each other. I hope that all of you will be really okay and I'm really happy to be with you again. In this opportunity, my people, I'm going to teach you another English expression. This expression is called come to think of it. Come to think of it. Come to think of it. But if you link the F of the word of and the I of the word it, it sounds of it, of it, okay? Come to think of it. And when do I use this expression? I use this expression when I want to introduce an idea that I hadn't thought before. For example, let's say that I am planning to go to the beach with my friends on Sunday and they're talking about what they're going to do or going to buy and all of a sudden I say, oh, come to think of it, I have to go to work on Sunday. So if you see, while they were preparing the travel to the beach, in that moment you realize that you have to work on Sunday, but you hadn't thought on that idea before. Okay, so in that moment you use come to think of it, okay, to introduce an idea that you hadn't thought before. Okay, entonces mi gente, miren esta expresión, come to think of it, literalmente significa o la utilizamos para decir, oye, pero yo no había pensado en eso. Entonces, mira, vamos a imaginarnos que, como expliqué en inglés, ¿verdad? Hay unos compañeros que están hablando de un viaje para la playa y todos estamos planeando ir para la playa, ¿verdad? El, el domingo. Y cuando ellos están en preparación de lo que van a comprar, que cómo va a ser todo el proceso, ahí mismo tú dices, oye, pero yo no había pensado que yo tengo que trabajar el domingo. Entonces, en ese, oye, pero yo no había pensado, en ese yo no había pensado, es el come to think of it. Examples. Example number one. I want to go to the beach, but come to think of it, I must work on Sunday. Number two. My mom had spoken with my father, but about the school trip, and she didn't come to think of it. He was broke. Okay, my people. Es una expresión bien fácil. Recuerden que el inglés es un arte y todos nosotros tenemos que ser artistas. Practíquenla, implementenla en su vocabulario, háganla de ustedes y producen inglés todos los días. Ok, my people, no olviden suscribirse a mi canal y en los comentarios dejar ejemplos utilizando esta expresión. Ok, my people, take care and bye bye.